for a deviant Satan lebay like this, who insists his beliefs are all right. Eh? If you argue with him also, he will say he's right and you're wrong. You can argue till the cows come home. That is his belief. He doesn't even quote a single Quranic verse to substantiate his assertions. So for him, if you see this video, watch this video first. Okay. A listener note. This episode contains adult content and language. This may not be suitable for all listeners. Please understand this message very, very clearly. Of course, it's all sin, it's all haram, none of it is good and accepted. But for the sake of understanding, because many of us, well, we see a brother that's selling drugs, we see a brother that maybe murdered another brother, and we say, far, look at these people, look how rubbish they are. Habibi, let me tell you something in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As far as sin is concerned, yeah? The one that sells drugs, good or bad? Just very quickly, good or bad? Bad. How about the murderer? How about the one who commits adultery, zina? What about the one who rapes a child? What about the one who drinks alcohol? What about the one who does the biggest of the kabal, good or bad? This person, one person that commits all of these sins, he commits all of these sins on a daily basis, but he prays is better in the eyes of Allah than the one that doesn't commit any of these sins, but doesn't pray. you tell me now what is he saying he's saying whether you're a murderer whether you're a rapist whether you are a pedophile whether you steal whether you slaughter people whatever you do whatever your sins are so long as you pray you are a better person than somebody that doesn't pray so who doesn't pray non-muslims don't pray some muslims who are even good natured don't pray so these are worse people so now based on statistics in this planet uh, on this planet are there more muslims or less muslims okay the statistics is about 20 percent muslims presuming all 20 percent muslims pray without fail 80 percent of the world's population do not pray and therefore these are worse people worse people worse to tengok worse macam mana lah if they are murderers they are everything maybe they deserve to be killed and wiped off this planet but to this lebay uh, syaitan ni eh, bagi dia those are worse people termasuk pula some of the muslims yang do not pray so therefore the rest the remaining yang pray ni eh, they can be murderers rapists uh, uh, thief, robbers, uh, corruptors, whatever they do, they are better than the balance of the people. So, jadi, if you argue dengan dia, dia kata dia betul. You kata you betul. So, you will end up fighting. It doesn't go anywhere. Tapi, let's entertain and indulge me on this scenario. We can test this scenario and test the hypocrisy of this person. Now, this person presumably is married, has children, has a home, has a job, has money. Okay, what say now that uh, he is a, in the position of authority? Let's say he's chief police. Lah. Huh? Bagi dia that position as chief police. And then, someone who prays non-stop. Huh? Subuh, Zohor, Asar, Maghrib, Isha. Oh, sunat-sunat, kunut, whatever. Tahjud, the works. He just prays non-stop. Now, this person goes to his house, tie him up, sever his penis and his scrotum, let him bleed. In front of him, slaughter his wife. In front of him, rape his daughter and shoot his son. 
burns his house, steal all the money, but before burning the house and stealing the money, after committing those heinous sin, lentang kas jadah, wudu sembahyang pada Allah. Bang kat rumah semua tu. Ah, ha? azan, semayang, ah, ha, you know, berhenti sekejap. Itu continue, continue pula. Ah, ha? so firstly sever his ah uh, uh, scrotum, ah uh, do this, mark, then, ikat satu family lo, and then watch movie, ah uh, kat rumah dia, makan makan, masak sedikit. Uh, lepas tu semayang, ah uh, semayang zohor lo. Lepas tu continue asar, ah uh, torture lagi dia. Lepas tu after that ah uh, bunuh isteri dia after raping her. After that, you know, gang rape the daughter uh, by maghrib. Terus berhenti sekejap semayang maghrib. Uh, lepas tu, last kali bunuh anak lelaki-lelaki dia. Uh, then, apa ni, lepas dah isyak semua. Dah isyak, then uh, empty out. Curi semua barang-barang dia. Clear out his account. And then, last kali, uh, bring him out. Uh, and then, uh, semayang isyak last punya kat rumah tu. Semayang Isha, doa, zikir, everything done. And then, alight the house and burn the house down. To the ground. Burn the house down, down, drive in his car, go somewhere. And sampai midnight. And then, semayang tahajud, semayang hajat. Supaya ada mangsa lagi. Minta doa ke Allah. And then, after that, drop him by the side of the road. And steal his car. Hilang. And then, uh, you know, uh, kata, sorry, uh, we have to leave you behind. We have to rush somewhere else to sell the car because kita kena catch semayang subuh berjemaah uh, where we are going to sell the car. So, uh, after that, I would like to hear this guy buat demand speech lah. Uh, orang yang buat semua tu, they are better as long as they pray. They are better than those Muslims or non-Muslim who do not pray. I want him to say that lepas tu. That's the only, the best way to test out eh, the hypocrisy of this guy. His consistency. Bagi dia, uh, you know, doesn't matter. Orang tu buat apa pun, janji pray. Pasal in his mind, when he's saying that, he's picturing other people's wife, other people's daughter, other people's assets, other people's children. Orang lain mati, orang lain kena curi, orang lain kena tindas. Dia fikir orang lain. Tapi kalau kena kat dia, and dia punya family and anak-anak dia, uh, will it be the same tak? Will it be the same advocacy dia akan berdakwah sama tak? Ha, inilah satu cara dia nak ajar orang-orang macam ni. Kalau kita test the hypothesis on him, macam mana agak-agak dia? I hope kalau this voice note sampai kat dia, uh, dia kalau boleh sebut pun dia boleh cerita macam mana, how he would respond, I would love to hear lah. Because it be music to my ears, whatever he can uh, respond. However he can respond. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any new videos.